No, 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 no. You're not interrupting at all. Actually, I just, I always come here really to, to pray for the group. So, any requests? Mmm. <laughs> We're just one weekend. <laughs> uh, you know, I have a uh, a deadline. Mmm. And no idea what to present. So, um, a miracle. A miracle it is. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if it, uh, it doesn't work? Hmm. You know, I think, uh, I think a small degree of doubt is normal. But I also believe that God answers prayers sometimes in ways we don't expect. That was a clip from the movie The Gift of Peace, exclusively on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And joining me now from the clip you just saw is actress Nikki Deloche. Nikki, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And in time, just in time for the holidays, you have a new movie coming out December 10th. Very exciting. First and foremost, tell me and all of our viewers an overall glimpse of what they can expect from your latest work. Oh, well, you know, there are so many things that make this movie, in my opinion, really special and really meaningful. It is the story of a woman named Tracy. Um, that's the character that I play who lost her husband two years prior. She's been really stuck in her grief. Um, she can't really move through um, life, her work. She hasn't really left her house. She doesn't really know, you know, who to be in this quote unquote new normal of her life. And she's in a lot of pain and a friend of hers encourages her to go to a grief support group. And um, she reluctantly goes. And what she finds throughout the course of the movie is, you know, we're really not meant to heal alone. We're, we're really not meant to carry our grief by ourselves, no matter what society has told us for decades, you know? And uh, I too came to this movie in a very similar spot. I lost my dad last July and um, I was very stuck in my grief and I didn't really know how to kind of move forward because what grief does is it splits you into two, you know? Part of you knows that you know, nothing really matters. And the other part of you knows that everything matters. And how do you move forward inside of that juxtaposition? It's so complicated and nuanced. And then the, on top of it is also the loss, you know, the finality that you'll never be able to like hug that person you love again. Um, it's so complicated. And I just think what makes this movie special is it really gives you a, br a blueprint um, for understanding that we don't have to do this alone. Reach out, you know, whether it's to a friend or to a support group, to, to someone who can help you carry your grief because it's inside of that and sharing of the stories and sharing of your pain that you find healing. And that's really what a gift of peace is about. Uh, beautifully explained, first of all, and I, I am sorry for your loss with your father. Thank um, you. Yeah, and when it comes you. to your own experience and this movie, The Gift of Peace, did it help navigate you through your own grief or maybe vice versa for the role when it came to playing Tracy? It really did. It was it was one of those situations that happens where, you know, the art imitates life life imitates art and ironically you know this in this grief support group there's five of us in it and three of us were actively moving through grief um i had lost my dad brennan elliott who plays the lead was really dealing with a lot of anticipatory grief you know his wife has been fighting a really tough battle with cancer for six years and then another um uh, actor in in the movie who was in the grief support group had just lost her stepfather weeks prior to shooting we were all really in it together and um what i learned through it is that i finally began to start processing. We would all, even between takes, start sharing our stories with each other of our loved ones. And something opened up, something lightened inside of me. I began to find 
some joy again. I began to laugh. I began to start celebrating life again. All, like little by little, I, just, I started inching forward. And we all found that together. So it was just such a beautiful experience of all of us being brought together to do this movie, but we were all transformed at the end of it on a very personal level. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's just giving me chills listening to sitting here listening to you say that and the fact that you all came together and you yourself received some joy out of this entire process. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't something you were expecting when you first came on as the cast for the film. Yeah, you just you never know. I mean, what I've learned in life, I, I've been doing I've been lucky enough to to be a working actor, working entertainer since I was really young a kid and you know what i've learned is it's always about the experience it's always about the people you meet how you're shifted and changed the lessons learned along the way so you know i went into this knowing that i would most likely learn something i just didn't know it would be that big and man am i so grateful i'm so grateful for those specific actors for that specific director and Fred Gerber, who just held such a beautiful space for us. And for the story itself that Hallmark and Dayspring, so Dayspring is a card company, a very popular card company, faith-based for Hallmark, and this is their first movie. And I'm a person of deep, deep, deep faith. And so the fact that I was able to be a part of this movie, I'm so grateful to Hallmark that they picked me to do this one because it really it did it just made such a giant difference in my life and i really hope that it does the same for people that are watching because we there's been a lot of loss this year there i mean in been. the last three years actually in the last three years there really has been so so much loss well i i have to ask you nikki before i let you go for someone who's been through it not just in a movie and playing a character but personally as well what's one piece of advice you have for somebody out there who is going through grief and having a tough time getting through it <laughs> That's such a good question, and it just speaks to how good you are at what you do. Um, I have a couple pieces of advice, and one of them is just you got to give yourself a lot of grace. You got to give yourself a lot of mercy and know that grief is not linear. You know, I am an A plus student. I am, I bought all the books when I knew that my dad was passing. I'm like, I'm going to be the best griever that ever did grieve. I'm going to get grief right. And oh, it was like being run over with a truck every single day. I did not know what I was doing. All the books were thrown out the window. It's not linear. So you really have to give yourself a lot of grace. You have to be gentle. Don't say yes to all the things that you were used to saying yes to. Really sit and go, do I have the energy for that? Do I have the capacity for that? So that um, that's one thing. Reach out, get support. If you don't feel comfortable, sometimes people feel comfortable in a support group with strangers. Sometimes that doesn't feel comfortable. Sometimes friends and family feel comfortable, but reach out to somebody. And the other thing that I would say is, you know, one thing I've done with my dad that has really helped me is I have infused him into the way that I parent, the way that I love people. My dad was such a nurturer. He was got, had such a big heart. He was the best dad on the planet. He was so good and kind to people. So I've just really embodied him in all that I do. And it has kept him alive inside of me and, and helped me to actually feel him. So these are just some of the big and small things that I've done in my life to really help me navigate it. And, and hopefully one of them will be helpful for somebody who's watching. Nikki, thank you so much for being incredibly vulnerable, and I'm sure I am 100% positive that at least one of those pieces of advice that you provided is going to help somebody through grief. So thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. It was our pleasure. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. And everyone, whether you're navigating amazing things or hard things this Christmas season, just know that, you know, it's not going to be like that forever. 
and just try to find the joy. Just really start to seek out the joy and little by little, you know, you will come alive. I mean, the holidays are about family. They're about love, being grateful for those in your life and just like hold on to everyone you love even tighter this year um, and watch a gift of peace and happy holidays. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And we will. We, <laughs> December 10th, we're going to be watching it. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for having me. Of course. Take care. For a link with listing information to catch the gift of peace, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.